Hello everyone, this is Mr. Caps and welcome to the Marine Mammal Center here in San Francisco. Let's go! the largest marine mammal hospital in the world. And um, we currently have 71 marine mammals on site as patients. California sea lions, uh, Guadalupe fur seals, elephant seals, and harbor seals. And today you're going to get to do a self-guided tour and you'll get to see how the hospital works. You'll get to observe some of the patients and then you'll get to also learn about the marine mammals in the exhibit hall mm -hmm. and a little bit about climate change and um, ocean health too so that you can take away some new knowledge um, mm -hmm. about how we can all be ocean ambassadors oh, yeah. so um, i'll just orient you a little bit on the map and you're welcome sure. to take this with you if you want sure. um, but you're here right now where the big seal is and um, the observation deck for, of the patients is in the next building okay. and it's upstairs so you can take the stairs or the elevator up to the observation deck. Um, the first stop is probably the exhibit hall which teaches you a little bit about the different marine mammals and um, different aspects of, of what we do in terms of rescue and release. And then downstairs in the conservation cove which is again underneath this in the second building um, there's a lot of information about the, how the hospital works how we do rescue and release and then there's also um, a, a youth crew ocean ambassador who will talk about ocean health and, and conservation and that kind of thing okay um, and then at the end you can kind of wander along along the lower floor and kind of see the inner workings of the hospital through the windows. So all the animals here are from San Francisco? They're, it's they're kind of other... a 600 mile stretch of the coast from way up north California down to San Luis Obispo. Mm -hmm. So they have been rescued at various places. And where, where do you usually free them? When they are very, it also various places. We try to pick fairly remote areas so that um, they're not bothered by people when they're being released. Mm -hmm. But um, Chimney Rock and, and but, uh, various beaches along the coast. Anyway. Thank you, Ms. You're welcome. Max. I hope Thank you have you. a wonderful time. Thank and you. there will be other docents if you want to add to your video. Oh, okay. thank you. I'm thank sure you. they don't mind. Okay, guys, when you come here at um, the Marine Mammal Center, uh, they have this gift shop here. You can buy anything you like, of course, uh, with this uh, different types of uh, thing here. This is so cute, right? Yeah. So, if you want to buy something, gift shops from 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 uh, Marine Mammals Center, you can come here anytime. Thank you. So we're here at Marine Mammal Center. Uh, this is the biggest marine mammal here in San Francisco. This is where they, you know, rescue uh, animals and make sure that they are safe.
and seal. Um, our problem concerning the elephant seals right now is that as we are burning more fossil fuels, uh, there's sea level rise, and with that sea level rise, um, it makes the breeding beaches that the elephant seals breed on smaller, um, which um, strands elephant seal pups in the middle of the ocean. Um, and then they wash up on beaches and we bring them here. Um, and they're quite malnourished sometimes, and so we nurse them back to health um, and then release them. Um, this is when we first found them, very skinny, um, the baby elephant seals have black fur, that's how you can tell. He's very small, usually elephant seal pups are somewhere like 400 pounds or something when they're born um, and healthy, but this one was really small and really skinny, so we rescued him. We have a mom and we taught him how to fish, um, how to eat healthy, and he, or <laughs> eat, and then he got released back into the wild, fat and healthy again. Um, and yeah, these, that's one of our elephant seals. That's a sea otter, sea lion, or seal. We have all different kinds of animals that come to the um, And these are just some of the ones that we see more often. And what are these? Uh, those are whale skeletons. Um, that's the vertebrae of a skull whale. And the one on the right is the jawbone of a, of a humpback whale. Um, and over there, there's more um, gray whale skeleton uh, bones over there. Here, <laughs> this beluga belongs to the same family Belugas of seals. They are part of the family Cetacea. Um, and we don't give belugas down here, they're Arctic species, so they live up north in like Alaska, um, so Canada, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and these are all part of the order Carnivora. They're all they're not whales, they're not cetaceans, like belugas. They just eat fish, right? They eat fish, yeah. Uh, sea otters actually also eat clams, mussels, sea crabs, fishes, sea stars, crabs. Mm -hmm. They actually they take them, they forage on the sea floor, bring them back up, and uh, they can actually crack them with rocks. And so they can the crack them on their chest because they, they float on their back. As you can see. So they'll they'll take crabs and, and smash them on their chest to eat them. Like are they the one like sea otters are the one who makes who builds uh, uh, dams no, artificial no, dams? Those are those okay. Are first water. Are okay. Thank you. The Marine Mammal Center is a private nonprofit U.S. organization that was established in 1975 for the purpose of rescuing, rehabilitating, and releasing marine mammals who are injured, ill, or abundant. It was founded in Sausalito, California by Lloyd Smalley, Pat Aragoni, and Paul Maxwell. Since 1975, TMMC has rescued over 23,000 marine mammals. It also serves as a center for environmental research and education regarding marine mammals, namely cetaceans, pinnipeds, otters, and sirenians. Marine mammal abandonment refers to maternal separation pups that have been separated from their mother before weaning. At the center, they receive specialized veterinary care. They are diagnosed, treated, rehabilitated, and ideally released back into the wild. Animals in need of assistance are usually identified by a member of the public who has contacted the center. These animals represent the following major species, California sea lions, northern elephant seals, Pacific harbor seals, northern fur seals, and southern sea otters. On a few occasions, TMMC has taken in Guadalupe fur seals, stellar sea lions, and bottlenose Pacific white-sided dolphins. The only non-mammals that TMMC takes in are sea turtles.
Baleen is a filter feeding system inside the mouths of baleen whales. To use baleen, the whale first opens its mouth underwater to take in water. The whale then pushes the water out and animals such as krill are filtered by the baleen and remain as a food source for the whale. A whale's baleen plates are made of keratin. Instead of teeth, baleen whales have fine comb-like plates made of a fibrous material called baleen. Oceans are the presence from God and we must take care of them by being more responsible.